What are the different components that make up uh, a redwood tree from the crown all the way down to the other root system? What are the levels of it? There's actually two types of needles. So if, if we start at the very top of the tree, there's uh, sun needles, which look completely different uh, from the, the needles on lower down on the redwood tree. You think, can think of a lower down on the redwood tree, the needles look like a typical fir, sort of a, a typical coniferous tree with needles. But the very top of the tree, the, the needles look a little bit more like a giant sequoia. They're very short and um, stout and they retain moisture much better. And so when you're at the very top of the tree, you're stressed by moisture more than down below, not only because it's hard to pull water up to the very tip top of the tree, but also you're out in the sun exposed to the elements in the wind and it's just drier up there. So you don't have, you can't, it's much easier to lose moisture to the elements and it's harder to hold on to it. So they've, we've got a completely different morphology up there. And then of course, from there, you're working into all the, the branches that lead into the trunk of the tree. And it, within the, 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 the tree itself, the bark is of course on the outside protecting the tree from the elements. And then you get into the, the cambium, which is the active layer of the tree where that's sending uh, water and nutrients up from the ground and it's sending the energy that the, the sugars that the tree has created with its needles get sent down into the uh, roots and other parts of the tree. That's all, all that, uh, that uh, it's the circulatory system, if you will, of the tree is all happening in, within the cambium. Underneath the cambium is the sapwood of the tree, which is kind of the more active part of the tree where, uh, where there's some storage of nutrients going on. And then the heartwood is in the core of the tree. The heartwood is that, that part of the tree that I was talking about that's really so resistant to decay and can last so long uh, without uh, rotting away. The sapwood actually is very vulnerable to, to decay because it doesn't have uh, all the tannins and other chemicals that the tree stores in the inner in the inner uh, heartwood of the tree. And then finally, of course, is the roots of the tree that are all underground. They, most of those roots are within the top two or three feet of the soil. Um, they occasionally go a little deeper, but they generally are finding everything they need right up near the surface. So there's no reason for them to go deep. 